Hi, in this video we are going to look at how to use CSS code to style lists on a web page. In a previous tutorial we've looked at how to create lists and uh, there's two different types of lists that we can create. We can create ordered lists uh, which use the OL selector or OL element in HTML. Um, so those are just basically uh, numbered lists. And we can also create unordered lists, which use the UL element in HTML. And those are like dot point or bullet um, lists. And they look like this. So this is an ordered list. It's numbered. And this is an unordered list. It's a, just a dot point list. All right. So I've already created two lists here. Just as an example, I've got um, a list of cities uh, and I've got a list of a few countries as well. Um, the cities is, uh, that's an ordered list and the countries is an unordered list. So we're going to look at how to apply some CSS code to style these lists. So we can do a number of different things. We can change the, um, uh, for a, an unordered list, we could change the um, dots to squares, uh, or we could get rid of the dots altogether. Uh, we could maybe, instead of making this an, a numbered list, we could use letters instead. Uh, or Roman numerals. Uh, there's lots of different things we can do. And we can also make lists horizontal uh, instead of the default uh, vertical uh, display. So let's look at how to do some of these things in CSS code. So what I'm going to do first is refer to each of these lists. I've got my ordered list here, which has the class name cities. So I'm just going to go to my CSS code over here. And I'll say OL and then uh, I'll say dot cities because that's the name of the, the class that I've applied to that. And uh, then I'll go UL for my unordered list. And that's got a class called countries. So I'll do dot countries there. And then uh, in between these curly brackets is where I'm going to add the style uh, information. So what I might do first um, for my ordered list. Uh, so that's uh, numbered. I'm going to change the list style type. Now the default for an ordered list is numbered. So, oh, so numbers. So if I uh, set that to numbers and go and refresh the page after saving the code, there's no difference there because that's the default for an ordered list. It uses numbers, but we could change it to letters instead. So we could do lower alpha. All right, which will be uh, lowercase letters. So we've got A, B, C, D there instead of one, two, three, four. We can also do uh, lower Greek, which looks like that. Uh, we could do Roman numerals. We could say lower Roman. All right, there's uh, lots of different different options here. Um, we could also do hiragana. Or we could do katakana as well. Okay, so those are just some of the examples. There are more that we could use. Uh, and yeah, that's basically uh, how we can change the style type, list style type for an, an ordered list. Lots of different options there to choose from. And the, these different options work for both ordered lists and unordered lists. So if we had an unordered list and we wanted to actually turn it into a numbered list, we could say list style type numbers and uh, it would actually kind of convert it to uh, an ordered list in a way. So uh, I'm going to change this back to lower alpha. All right, um, and while I'm doing this, I might just uh, change the color as well. So you can change the color of your uh, list items as well. All right, now let's have a look at our unordered list, so our list of countries. So as I was saying a moment ago, we can use a lot of the same list style types for ordered lists and for unordered lists. Um, so the default for an unordered list is disk. So if save and refresh that, we won't see any difference here. It's just those um, filled dots, but we could change it to circle. So a circle is um, just an empty circle, it's not filled. Uh, we could also go with square as well. So we get uh, some squares. If we wanted to convert this to a, uh, an, an ordered list, 
with numbers, um, we can say decimal. And what this is essentially does is it takes an unordered list and basically converts it uh, to an ordered list. So it displays numbers instead. Okay. Uh, so as I mentioned before, there's, um, you know, I can do lower Greek, uh, lower alpha, lower Roman, katakana, hiragana, uh, different options that we've, we've just seen um, for our ordered list. We can also apply to our unordered, li unordered list. And we can actually just also say none. So if we want to get rid of the uh, dots or squares or numbers or whatever we have, we can just say none and that gets rid of uh, those um, disks or um, dots next to each item on the list. So this is actually handy for when maybe you want to create a list for a, um, a menu or a nav bar, or maybe uh, a sidebar that has different links on it and you want to add each link to a list. You might add some padding between each one, um, but you don't actually want the dots to display. Then what we could do is just say list style type none, and that would get rid of them. Uh, one other option is we can say list style image instead of list style type. So we can use an image instead. Now in my uh, website folder, I actually have an image here. It's a, a little star and the file name is called star.png. So what I'm going to do now is instead of using um, the disks or having no um, disks, I'm going to say list style type, uh, list style image, sorry, and then specify the URL to that image, which was star.png and it's in the same folder. So I don't need to reference the folder name there. And if I go back and refresh, we have some uh, stars there instead. And you can use any image that you like. All right, but just be conscious of the size of the image. Um, if I wanted to, I could also change the line height as well. Um, so I might make that double what it is now. So I can say 2EM or 200% to space them out a little bit more. Um, we can also, this is one thing to keep in mind, is that when you, um, when text goes across the page, so if you have a very long um, piece of text on a list um, item, it will actually, when it starts a new line, it will go directly underneath the text in line with it. All right, so um, just so we can actually see, I'll just um, copy and paste this text here. All right, if we go and refresh, whoops, I actually need to do maybe a little bit more. All right, there we go. So when I've put a lot of text on this page, I just realized I was zoomed in, that's why it wasn't going down. Um, see how it's just in line here. So it goes directly underneath the other text. If we didn't want that and we wanted it to go underneath the star instead, then we can say list style position. And the default is outside, but we can change it to inside. And now I can see that it's kind of, the stars have moved over a little bit and the text actually goes underneath the stars now. So something that you might um, potentially want to use. All right, so um, those are just some examples. There are lots of other uh, different list style types that you can use and um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be any of the default ones. You can use your own images or icons as well. Um, now, one other thing that you might want to do and I'm just going to change this back to how it was before, just undo all of that. Now, let's say if we wanted to uh, wanted to create a nav bar or a menu, and we wanted some links uh, going horizontally across the page, what we might do is, I'll just undo this, we might say list style type none to our unordered list. All right, so that's now going to look like that. There's no dots or disks there. All right. And we could then also uh, make the uh, list items display inline. So we could just say li and we could say display inline and refresh. And that'll actually do it to all of the uh, list items on this page. So remember li stands for list item. If we didn't want it to do for uh, all of those, we could just say um, that we could maybe give these list items a class 
uh, or we could say um, for countries uh, that should work. Yep, so that's just only applying this style to list items that belong to the list called countries. All right, and so now this is a horizontal list. Now we could do a number of different things here. We could uh, add some padding. Uh, All right, like that. We could um, actually make these links. So, for example, this could be ahref equals australia.html. And then just make sure that that's between the closing, between this section here and the closing A tag there. And now that would be a link. And then we could go on and style it even further. We could add you know, background colors, we could add a border. Um, we can actually turn that into a proper looking uh, navigation bar. But we'll look at how to create buttons and, and also drop down buttons as well in another tutorial. Anyway, that's, that's basically how to uh, style lists in HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching.